Today I'm going to walk you through making a Philadelphia New York style strawberry swirl cheesecake. I have a 13 by 9 baking pan lined with foil with the ends of the foil extending over the sides of the pan. It's much easier than using a spring form pan and the foil makes for the easy cleanup. Now I've made a mixture of one cup honey made graham cracker crumbs, three tablespoons of melted butter, and three tablespoons of sugar. And I'm pressing it firmly into the bottom of the pan. And that goes into a 325 degree oven for about 10 minutes to firm it up. While the crust is baking, I'll make the batter. Now one thing you want to make sure of is that your cream cheese is at room temperature. If it's right out of the fridge, just put it in the microwave for 15 seconds on hot. That'll help keep the top of your cheesecake from cracking. So we beat together the Philadelphia cream cheese with a cup of sugar, three tablespoons of flour, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And we're going to beat that well on medium speed until it's well blended. Now add one cup of sour cream. Once that's incorporated, slow down the mixer to low speed and add four eggs one by one, beating them slowly and not over beating them will also help keep the top of your cheesecake from cracking. Okay, our crust is partially baked and we're adding our cream cheese mixture. Now here's your chance to add something really special. Just drop a few small spoonfuls of a third of a cup of seedless strawberry jam over the batter. Then take a knife and draw it through the batter a few times. There you go, instant marbling. Now into the oven for 40 minutes. That was 40 minutes, and you can see that the center isn't quite set. There's still a little bit of jiggle there. That's perfect. Let it cool completely, then into the fridge for at least four hours to chill and set. Here it is. You just use the foil handles to lift it out. And there's your Philadelphia New York style strawberry swirl cheesecake.